you asked me to do the video, I said yes right away because it's you and I really can't say no to you. You always push me to do things that I don't want to do or would never do on my own. What I'm going to get out of this video is more maybe self-awareness of my own and not to worry as much about what people think and that things aren't as big of a deal as what I tend to make them. I'm thinking you're doing this because you constantly like to learn new things and to push yourself and you're making me do this because you want to see me push myself further. I don't know if I like you or not for that, I guess we'll, <laughs> we'll see if we're still friends afterwards. I do this all the time by myself anyway, or I journal a lot where I'll just talk like this in my journal. That's part so, of why I love counseling is because you just talk about yourself. And since a young age, my dad has told me that I've never stopped talking. My favorite thing to do when I'm not working is either reading or doing puzzles. So like, uh, not just jigsaw puzzles, but like math puzzles or logic puzzles. You're, brain puzzles. You're a thrill a minute. I know. That's why I'm not, you know. Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> no. I tend to be hermit. I really like my own time. I love my friend time, but eventually I get tired of people and I just want to do my own thing and uh, be at one with myself. Which is probably why singleness has really worked out well. And you know what? It's a choice. I want to be single. <laughs> Who's been kindest to me in my life? Um, I have a lot of people, which now that I say that, that makes me more grateful for the people I have around me. If I had to narrow it down to one person, I'd probably say my dad, because there were some situations I've gotten myself into over and over and over again. And he'd still tell me every time, Christy, don't do that. Or, but he'd still let me do that. So even though I knew it wasn't a good decision, he never held it against me. He'd always let me come back. Do you believe in love at first sight? Oh, Lord, I knew you were going to ask something like this today. Um... I know everyone probably in the world wants me to say no, I don't, but I'm a huge romantic at heart. No, I do. I do. I, I do. I do believe in love at first sight and love in general because sometimes I forget that I even exists because I've been single for so long. I really like lip soul. Um, at any given time, if you went through my purse right now, I have at least 10 uh, lip soles that are all pretty much the same shade of pink, so I probably could go down to one, but I never will. I love chocolate so much that even if I find it on the floor, I have to actually tell myself you're not allowed to eat that because it's on the floor. <laughs> I usually listen to that voice. And you asked me the question about my bucket list and what, what would be on it and what's the highest priority. I had to think and be like, ooh, I don't really have a bucket list. I've always wanted to, marry, to be married and have kids, but um, besides that, I just think I'm extremely lucky to have so many um, great family and friends around that I don't really need don't really want for anything else. And you have lots of puzzles. And puzzles <laughs> to keep my brain occupied. The most important um, non-academic -academ thing we can teach our students is um, I think self-acceptance and self-confidence that they can do anything and it doesn't matter what other people think and just to try to take those risks and like getting videotaped. Uh, my funniest and most embarrassing moment was probably when I broke my nose. So I was pushing a garbage can of dandelion. It was at an angle like this and so was I pushing it because it was so heavy and it hit a dip so the wheels went whoosh and I was, wasn't was smart enough to let go and I went whoosh with it and the whole thing landed on the bridge of my nose right here. All I remember thinking was, well I heard a crunch. I'm like, I think my nose is broken, but of course, being a girl, I look around, did anyone see me? Meanwhile, if anyone knows me, I'm also a little vain. So I'm trying to do my hair and then fix makeup on my face before I went to the hospital. Uh, so my second most embarrassing story is when I was doing some spring cleaning and everyone has those L-shaped cupboards, kind of like a, I don't know, it's a deep cupboard, a deep corner cupboard. And I got the idea that I should we put my pots and pans in there and I wanted to put my mixer on the bottom so I had to lift the shelf and put it up. And again, I like to say it, I'm only little and I couldn't hold the shelf with my one hand and then put the brackets where they needed to be. So I got the great idea of climbing into it and holding the shelf with my shoulders, putting the brackets in. Then I put the last bracket in, the shelf came back down and the stupid brackets that I had, had uh, a part on the bottom and the front to hold the shelf in place. So that must have locked in. So, um, I uh, got smushed in the bottom and I couldn't move. So I had, uh, well, I couldn't move so my butt was facing out. And uh, I'm also a little embarrassed to say that it was You're really hot. <laughs> I might have taken my shorts off because it was really hot. And so I'm now actually in my underwear 
it's stuck in my cupboard. <laughs> But that's probably the only time that I'd be very thankful for how much I sweat because it was so hot outside and I had my oven cleaner on. I eventually sweated enough that I could slide my knee to the side and pull myself out. And yet I still tell people this story. I have my moments. Bachelor Canada, here we go. This has been Christine, Christine, and Annette, and I wanted to videotape Christy. She just won a teaching award and she didn't even mention this it Christy. once. Congratulations. Thanks. I am proud of it. I just don't really talk about it. Why, Why not? Um, my two friends who didn't get one, I'm not going to make them feel bad. You kind of suck. <laughs> I really don't because I just won an award. <laughs>